Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the sub subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all sorts of the video bank new exclusively you will definitely be notified so according to the recent news his excellency turkey lashik is in talks is in talk with uh, numerous boxing stakeholders to forge a major league a major boxing league interesting story reported by pink villa turkey lashik is negotiating with top boxing promotions to create a unified Five billion dollar league discovered the potential impact on boxing's future. Now, could Saudi Arabia be taking over the sport? Turkey Lashik and the Saudi Arabia Public Investment Fund, which is worth over 800 billion dollars, we know that, um, that was, when they bought Newcastle, I think they were worth about 300 or 500 billion, and now they are almost 800 billion, bro. The money with these guys they make, these are crazy money, bro. So, um, probably, uh, Saudi Arabian probably invest, investment fund reportedly plans something huge. Remember those spectacular boxing events in Riyadh, Tyson Fury versus Ulysses Usyk. Those were just the beginning. Saudi Arabia has hosted everywhere, everywhere title matches and brought boxing biggest names to the to the desert. Now they are talking about creating a new league worth up to five billion dollar. Imagine matchroom boxing and golden boy promotions order one roof Incri intrigued here yeah? this could change boxing forever mm. five million boxing five billion uh five billion uh boxing in, in the works saudi arabia probably yeah yeah bro it's crazy though five yeah. billion <clears throat> basically is it's talking actually going to buy a matroom or something like that that's a lot of money um, you know what? I well, I I believe that with five billion, that has the potential to completely overhaul boxing, and it will create relationships like outright buys. I believe top rank will be sold because Bob Arum is like ninety something years old. It's time to retire. He will probably sell top rank to the Saudis. Uh, Matt Room, Eddie Hearn is still young. They probably wouldn't outrightly sell out Matro. Maybe there will be some sort of partnership and there will be some um, revenue splitting formula. You know, um, which, which other one? Golden Boy. Maybe Golden Boy would take a similar approach. Uh, so at the end of the day, all these promoters, they will be under the control of Saudi. That's what I see happening. And it's a good thing. Because the way boxing has been structured prior to the entry of Saudi has not really been beneficial for the fans. We never get the fights that we want. <laughs> Recently, we missed out on one of the biggest fights that was supposed to materialize but never happened. Um, AJ versus Wilder. The fight is gone. Um, same thing. I remember during the time of Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather, it took five years for that fight to materialize. Same thing with Terence Crawford versus Errol Spence. It took a very long time. So I, I strongly believe that with the Saudis coming into boxing with the huge funds, then it'll be much more easier for these big fights to happen and there will be more structure. You know, it wouldn't be a case of or rather it'll be less likely a case where a big fighter has the ability to pick and choose his opponent that needs to be gone out of boxing it's so ridiculous it's not if that is what boxing is then it's not a sport it's strictly a business it's like 98 percent business two percent sport but with the saudi's involvement and the restructuring that would happen that i anticipate if they are able to outrightly purchase top rank maybe get a huge acquisition of the percentage of Golden Boy, Matron Boxing, then we might be in a position where um, boxing would return to maybe 70% sport and 30% business, as opposed to what we currently have, where it's 98% business, 2% sport. It's not a sport. It's just people trying to make money and the competitive aspect of it is kicked to the bottom 
it's not uh, in the priority at all. So I'm looking forward to this Saudi's introduction to boxing. They've done a great job already. They've been in boxing for like one or two years and they've given us the best two years in the last easily in the last 15 years in boxing so i'm very very excited about it and i look forward to saudi taking over boxing bro do you i think turkey and the rest they don't want to be promoters they want to be basically the head that is crazy bro and hmm. they, they they don't want to like be part of part of the league they want to take over but in a way, not to like jeopardize anybody. I, I don't think anybody can stop Saudi if they want to do that, though. Because what Tokelashik is doing right now is very interesting. Because you can tell, huh? Mm. I think the advantage he has over everybody else is that he's not... He's building friendship, relationship with the boxers, the fighters. Mm. Those are the people that matters the most. Yes. Because without the fighters, the promoters really, like... Can't really do anything, and also, no yeah. matter how good of a promoter you are, you might not be able to get some people to make the mega money they 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 could make. For example, now Eddie Hearn had so many people on on his rosters, hmm? like hmm. I think he had uh, Kevin Palmer, right? He had uh, Bubu Andrade, right? Yeah. He couldn't make global stars, even though he's a fantastic promoter. He couldn't make yeah. them global stars. He couldn't like. Bobo Andre was basically avoided by a lot of people, but but I think he could he could not make them that star, that home, you know, that star. Mm -hmm. Because there are some people that you can that have that persona, that can go worldwide. There are some people that don't have. It. Joshua has it. Wada also has it. Because of the way he carries himself, it's the way he talks, you know, the way Wada is, Bomb Squad, stuff like that. That's a that's basically that's his logo, Bomb Squad. You have to bring something very different to the table. Fury has it as well. You know what I mean? So I'm just saying like Canelo has it in a different way. Uh although Canelo no. is not Canelo is not known worldwide, you know, like the way Joshua is known, probably because of his lack of English, you know? Because yeah, not a not a people yeah, not a lot of people can relate to kind of like that because yeah. You know what I mean? So you know you know what I also noticed that Eddie Hearn because you made a very good point. I'm talking about and Demetrius Android. Eddie Hearn, what is formula is to grab a fighter, promote that fighter in his locality where he's from. So for example, if he has maybe Lee Shelby, no, let's say O'Hara Davis. I think O'Hara might have been from, I don't know, somewhere in England. So maybe let's say the guy is from Manchester, for example. And then he grabs um, Josh Taylor from Edinburgh. So he goes into Manchester, promote, they have a, a little press conference. Then they go to Edinburgh, have a little press conference. Before each press conference, he has already announced that these fighters are representing your city. You guys have to be here. So he generates that buzz from like, you know let me use the word organically he generates the buzz where people are supporting their cities they are supporting fighters that come from their cities and then that's how he was successful within the united kingdom but that same formula did not really materialize in the united states of america because he tried taking some few guys back to their locality like demetrius andred it took andred i believe andred had a fight in in new england um massachusetts at some point and he still didn't grow even after that situation you know so i mean the the market is is different the formula might work in a certain market and not work in another market but at the end of the day i, I feel like eddie hearn will definitely be a good asset to the saudis as far as this plan is concerned because the saudis even though they have direct relationship with the fighters they would still need an intermediary they wouldn't need five intermediaries i mean they're not going to need bob aram eddie Hearn, oscar de la hoya you know all these other guys they will probably just need like three guys and one of the three guys i believe strongly will be eddie Hearn. 
but, and maybe but, Frank but Warren. Do you know that? Do you know that? Uh, I think uh, Brown uh, Spencer or something like that is his name. I think Spencer Brown. I think is the matchmaker. One of the matchmakers uh, for Tokyo Lash. The uh, uh, Tyson Fury is a uh, man- manager. Spencer Brown. Okay. Is one of is the guy that does the a lot of the matchup. Like Jerry Anderson, hmm. Matty Bacoli, and stuff like that. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering why don't he, why didn't they match uh, <laughs> uh, Dubois versus uh, um, Fury? Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's weird because because it's funny. There's this side of this side in boxing where you know the Frank Warren side and the ADN side in a way. I get yeah. it though. That's what it is. Yeah, let yeah. Bro. You know, I just hope my I hope my African guys are going to tap into this whole situation and you know make money for themselves. You know, this Saudi thing, even if they have to have a link to a promoter to make that possible, I hope my African guys get that done quickly. Yeah, man. Yeah, like I also, I I feel like without Tokyo Lashik, I don't think Terrence Crawford, I don't think would have would have seen Terrence Crawford. For, uh, uh, I don't think we'll see him active. He wasn't active, right? For a long time. Yeah. Yeah. So. Man, that PBC, all those PBC stuff, man, those guys really, man, those guys, man, they did they did bad. I'll be honest, man. Because I don't understand how you allow Errol Spence after that loss. By the way, I was rooting for Spence. But after that loss that he took to Crawford, why would you prevent Crawford from fighting for the next 18 months or something. That's crazy, man. I, I didn't like all that move that they made where Spence and Crawford, they had a rematch clause. Crawford couldn't fight. And then eventually, Spence came back and said, I'm no longer fighting Crawford. I'm going to go fight Fundora. How does that make sense? And then you kept Crawford waiting for a year without a fight? Well, it is what it is. Crawford did the same thing to Spence too. When during their negotiation, he pulled out and went to go fight David Avenatia. So, I guess that's karma. <laughs> mm, man, it's crazy, bro. Five billion. A, a boxing league worth over five billion dollars, bro. Do you know Ooh. we just we're just mentioning that word for? I don't think at the end, Matro is at at the end at the end at the Matro is not worth five billion, huh? Never, no. I way think there's, out. I think they're one billion the, something, right? One billion. Nah, million. they're not up to up to a billion. Never. Now they are because uh, I remember when uh, Eddie and his dad when they did a, they did a, basically there was an interview they did together basically, and then yeah. they uh, uh yeah Piers Morgan basically has them how much they're worth. They said there's a billion about. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, they worth a billion about you know, but you have Rukelashik, just. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, this guy, bro. If you go look at the how much Tokyo Lakers is worth, it's like twenty three million, right? Yeah. I, I, I'm, I, don't, I feel like maybe I should, maybe we shouldn't start believing all this because I don't really see a lot of, um, I, I don't really see how much a lot of the Middle Easterns are worth. These are, these are, these are, these are the shakes, you know, the shakes. Yeah. You don't really see it, right? Yeah, you can. You can. They only estimate based on the oil they generate. I mean, I mean, I mean the shakes. I mean the, the shakes themselves, individuals, because Turkey Lashik, for example, is worth two three million. Yeah, yeah. But he, the fight he's put on so far, we can say, he's getting close to two hundred million. If we should really calculate it. Oh, more than, way more than two hundred million. Maybe, so, maybe more like five hundred. Because the fights they put on so far, if Turkey Lashley didn't come into the incident, come into boxing, there is no way a Fury fight will seek. Never. There, there is no way. He wanted to lowball him. Remember when they gave him uh, 10 cent, right? 10 percent. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> we would have still, be, we'll, we'll still, have, we'll still right? have this, we'll still have this uh, A side, B side thing, bro. Now, I'm telling none you. of these guys can say, oh, you know. Um, and that's the good thing about Turkey. Turkey will eliminate A side, B side. I'm telling you, bro. You see, there is a fighter that I have to talk about, Tank Davis. And Tank has a fight coming up this weekend against Frank Martin. 
it's going to be a very good fight between two southpaws in lightweight division. Tank Davis, I don't know where these people got this idea that, oh, he's, he's the face of boxing. He's a star. Maybe he's a star in America. We don't know him outside of the US. And Tank Davis has gotten to a point where he feels like he can pick and choose fighters too. But in my opinion, you've not even done anything to warrant that position. So with Turkey Alashek coming in, if Tank, fighters like Tank, want to keep on picking and choosing, they will be on the losing end. Because those opponents that you want to treat as their B-side, if they can get fights on that Turkey, then nobody cares about you, your A-side position, Tank. So I'm happy about this. It's going to remove all these, to me, it's diva behavior that all these guys have. And it's Floyd Mayweather that fought them that nonsense. Once Turkey comes into this business, hopefully, I hope he doesn't prove me wrong, hopefully, A side, B side will be gone. Bigger fights will be easier to be made. More competitive fights will be easier to be made. As opposed to all these 80, 80 20 fights that we, we are constant, we've been getting constantly for like 20 years. Damn. Yeah. Oh boy, man, I can't wait, bro. But I don't, I'm not, listen, you know, I love this, or oh, Dezon, bro. Dezon are opportunistic. Criminal. <laughs> that's only, man, that's my little sign. Can you imagine they took down two of my videos? I didn't even show anything, bro. Apart from the the, the, the picture of the fight. That's the thing. No. They took it down. I tried to reclaim, bro. Bro, not, I would not cover Dezon fight anymore. If I covered any fight of the zone, I have to show my face on the video talking. Mm. So that they don't, I will not show any picture. I will not put any picture yeah. of the fight at all. Damn, these guys. Wow. Criminals. Maybe because of what I said in them. You know, I noticed one thing. Anybody that agrees a lot with their fighters and stuff like that, they tend to want to give contract or something. Mm. Or, con or contact. I've been noticing it. But I, yeah, I don't, they do it. Me, I don't cater to anybody, bro. Me, I don't want. I'm me, I'm my own, I'm my own ball, bro. You understand? Know yeah. Me, I didn't stand on my ground. Not so, no. You understand? Know I know if he, I know if he only talk good about. But the zone, I was very happy when they came into the scene. But somehow they just kept taking people. They they keep sub. Basically, they won't break all the channel. We be saying not agree with them but down. They won't break them down. Because you, 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 I, I even saw people, people use picture, fight picture. Like if the, if you are listening a fight now, go put picture B. Yeah. I mean, is it wrong? But no, the big, uh, these people they removed, they, 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 they took down my, my, two my, they don't give me two, that two strike again. I mean, they post others any, anything anymore, any video. Hi, I'm on no grief for them, or not, not to fight them. But I don't, I don't write, I don't uh, appeal, write them, I don't write them. Every, the email we are writing, they say they wait. Mm, but guys, I don't like you. But to yours, me, I mm. suffer. Me, the team suffer. Me, the, me, the, me, I suffer. Me, the, the three months, I think they, they take before you, before you come out. It's like, and um, you know, honestly going forward i think just do that that concept that you said use just your fist uh -huh, if you're covering their fight your because this one would get very good fights now because i think Turkey and Sheikh will be using this one i know let me the problem now <laughs> the problem because yeah because uh i'm criminal they be the zone opportunistic in asia <laughs> criminal anyways turn the fire dude. this don't uh, turn the fire on now if when i hear this video Man, the zone, on that fire, man. Hmm. Oswo, I am him, man. They are ruthless people. Now, Russian get her now. Me, I don't even go that side. Talk. 